Hello everyone, welcome once more to Mathematics Pro. So today we are going to calculate the volume and surface area of this compound prism. So let's get started. So we know that the formula to calculate volume of a prism, volume is equals to the base area times the height. So and also for prism, the base we should have two identical base. So the base are the face that are identical. So we have this and the bottom will be identical. So this represent the base of this prism. So if we want to calculate the area, because we need to calculate the area of the base, the area of the base times the height. So let's calculate the base area first. So looking at this prism, so this dimension here is 6. So we have 6 centimeter and the width here is 7, 7 centimeter. Then um, this part that has been cut, so we have 2 centimeter here and also we have 5 centimeter. So when we always cut something, we minus we subtract so we are going to look at the area of this rectangle so we are going to look at the area of this rectangle minus the area of this part that has been cut so the formula of area of a rectangle is length times width so the the base area will be equals to we are going to have six times 7 to so this area minus this one that has been cut 2 times 5 so if we multiply this together 6 times 7 minus 6 times 7 will give us 42 so we are going to have 42 minus 10 so if we subtract this, we are going to have 32. So this is our base area. So we can move further to calculate, normally is in centimeter square. We can move further to calculate the volume. So volume is base area times the height. Now, what is the height of this prism? This is the height, that's why we can see here is three centimeter. 3 cm, 3 cm, and 3 cm. So this 3 cm represent the height of this prism. So if we move further, volume will be equal to 32 cm times 3. So our volume will be equal to 96 cm cubed. So this is our volume. Next to move further with the surface area so before we start with the surface area let us not forget that the area of one of the base is 32 centimeter so let's continue with surface area so as i said earlier all prism must have a base face that is identical so if we look here we have this face have two faces that are identical so we have this face and this other face so they're identical we can also say they are concurrent so it means we have two base because the surface area we need to calculate the area of all the faces okay so the best formula to use to calculate this for accuracy we can use surface area will be equals to base area we said that this is our base area, so there are two of them. So we are going to have two times the base area plus. So plus the perimeter of the base, you need to add all of this side times the perimeter of the, plus the perimeter of the base, you need to add all of it times the height. So next is perimeter of the base times the height so this is the formula we are going to use so if we want to use this formula if we move further 
we can see our surface area two bracket we have calculated the base area already no need this is it we had 32 so we can say 2 times 32 plus the perimeter of the base so we are going to start with 6 so plus this side 6 plus perimeter is the sum of all of the side 6 if this side is 7 implies this is 7 as well 6 plus 7 take it plus this other section plus 2 plus 5 plus 2 plus this section will be 5 as well plus 2 and lastly plus 7 times the height which is 3 so this will give if we want to simplify all of it if we add all of these it's going to give us 36 so we are going to have 64 2 times 36 is 64 plus all of this will give us 2 times 32 is 64 all of this will give us 36 so we are going to have 36 bracket times 3 so if we move further we are going to have 64 plus 108 if we add them up we are going to have 172 centimeter square so thanks for watching please subscribe